Thesaurus. We're going to ban him. Damn, he banned my armature. All right, we're going to go in with Shield Guard in the lead. This is a toughie. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. Wixy Woxy. All right, we're going to hit... We're going to try using uh, increased defense on everybody. Sister Militant. Maybe she's in a stun set. I don't know. Oof. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Oh, Okay. Here, poisons. Oh, boy. Well, we can... Yeah, battle stance. Hit him. Yeah! Bro. I've started doing this thing where it's just like, if if somebody takes too long to even choose their champions uh, because they, they like to think about things, uh, I just leave the fight now, which is, you know, uh, basically a win for them because... Uh, I, I just, I hate having to wait for so long for people to make a decision. Because for me, it just doesn't, it doesn't make too much sense. It's like, if, especially if you're in Gold 3 Live Arena, it's like you should know by now what your moves are and what your picks are. I feel like if you're already in Gold Arena, or Gold Live Arena, Gold 2, Gold 3, which is, it's where I'm at, like, there, there's just no excuse. Like, you already know what you're going, what your picks are by this point. You know what I mean? You're in Gold 3. Like, hurry up. And honestly, I think this tracks pretty well. Um, if you're, if you're the type of person like you, the basically what I'm trying to say is like the way that people uh, play their drafts is normally how they play in Live Arena. So like if I if I go up against somebody who's really quick with choosing their their champions uh, during the drafting process, I can already assume, and this is usually correct because this is what's been happening with me. I can usually assume that they're going to be uh, fast when it comes to doing the live arena fights and so that's just that's basically what i've what i've been doing now and i think this is just overall better for one my own personal health and and happiness when i'm trying to do uh live arena especially uh when i'm trying to actually enjoy a fight and you know anytime i leave a fight it's a free win so it's a win-win situation all around yeah so uh this guy decided to take up the entire uh turn meter every single time he took a turn I think I can outspeed this team. Unfortunately, Armand's has stone skin on, so that's an issue in of itself. But what if I were to outlast? So let's try stunning everybody. Looks like that's not happening. Let's hit this. All right, so we have an issue here with Armand's. He's got that stone skin on. Can I boost turn meter and remove it with... Oh, nope, I can't. All right, here it comes. Oh. Looks like Harima wasn't affected. We have enough uh, resistance. Never mind. All right, well, if we can go fast enough, we might be able to sleep our mons. There you go. But he's going quite fast, so... We'll see. He's going to attack, and it kills, but we're okay. Now we can either try to kill um, Armand's, but that's not going to work because he's going to transform and revive everybody. So this is the best thing we can do, and boom, put him to sleep. All right. We have two big threats here, but I'm wondering what we should do. I feel like we might be able to get away with stunning. So let's stun might buy some time let's try to get through duchess all right she has unkillable on let's hit taurus or not unkillable she has reaction i always hate it when whenever georgia isn't able to one shot but that's okay what we can do is remove their buffs and then hit the a2 from georgie pushing a little bit of turn meter back uh-oh we can try boosting turn meter or we can try pushing somebody back here. All right, let's get rid of... Oh boy, no, she's tanky. Uh-oh. Sometimes getting Harimid is a, is a bad situation for everybody. Okay, I, I know for sure we're going to be able to get rid of him. Now we have to wonder about you. Let's put you to sleep. Okay, so there's the revive. We're also going to revive 
Then we're going to boost attack. Then we're going to push back turn meter and stun everybody. Get rid of Duchess. And let's get rid of Gizmak. Let's take away their buffs. And let's get rid of Taurus. Throw it on auto. Call it a day. Yeah. Whew. All right, a lot of mythicals here. And of course, stone skin. What we have to do is try to, well, that's not gonna really work. And if we transform, we're kind of screwed out there. Um, so let's just do this. See if that helps out a little bit. Galathir is gonna be an issue. I wanted to transform, but Marius is there. He puts out the lockdown on everybody's skills, so that's an that's an issue in of itself. Oh boy. Okay. Let's get rid of you. And we're gonna get rid of Gizmak. Or well we tried to get rid of Gizmak, but it's not gonna happen. Damn. Maybe I should have tried the A1 with Rotos. Damn. Yeah. Well, I mean it was a it was a decent try. Decent try. Well, I can already feel myself losing this one, but we'll see, we might get lucky. Maybe our mons will pull through. Here it comes. Oof. Yeah, that's a toughie one. That's that's a toughie right there. Kind of a we got a problem. We might not we might not survive this. You either sleep or revive. What are you gonna do? You might let Ancora revive, put our mods to sleep. Let's see if this works. Wait, does she take the stun? No, she doesn't. Okay. But we can still try to sleep you. Removing buffs as well. The A2 pops off of Wukong. It's probably going to kill. So let's... Actually, now would be a good time to try and stun. Hopefully we don't weak hit. Oh, we weak hit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's get rid of Ancora. And then Wukong. We might be able to clutch this, boys. And girls. Um, we're just gonna hit the A1. Who are you gonna sleep? Alright, you sleep her. Gonna hit Wukong, try to push that turn meter back. Alright, you're probably gonna use Asgardian Judgment. Not my pick because of his passive, but that's fine. And we're going to get you so you don't you can't take a turn and then one two three <laughs> all right he banned my inithui so we were able to keep georgid we're going to boost and hopefully nobody has um unkillable on or what do you call it reaction i always call it unkillable so we can try to push back turn meter or at least kill wukong I didn't want to give him a chance to use that A3. I wasn't sure who was going to go first, either Sifi or Wukong. All right. Now you're going to hurt pretty badly. Let's boost turn meter. Uh-oh. Who is she going to hit? One, two, three. Ooh, we barely survived that one. Lucky us. All right, take turn meter, get rid of Makage. Oh shit, we didn't get rid of Makage. Put you to sleep. And we get sheeped. And we go to sleep. Push back Makage. Or kill Makage. Lock out Harima. Boost turn meter. Give it to Georgie. Hit the A2. Hit this. Push back further. What do we do? What do we do? 
disappear. Because Sun Wukong has a good chance of having his uh, A2 or A3 still available. There you go. We're fighting a lot of people from UA. So his Makage is faster than my Sifi. Which actually kind of sucks. And is astounding because Sifi is my fastest character. So let's... Um, Let's aim down on Makage. Hit the oh my gosh, I forgot about Enfeeble. Damn. I had a feeling I should have banned Makage, but I just... I wasn't sure. Let's see. Okay. Do I still... Do I at least get one shot? I need at least one shot. He's not going to let me do it. He's not going to let me do it. Yeah, it's not happening. This guy came out with a sauce. I wasn't even sure who to really hit. His Armand's is there. That's kind of a, a bad thing on our on our side. But we can try to remove his stone skin with the A2 here. Um, no, we lose that chance. So we're going to have to aim down on the only person who's available. His cat hair's all over my face. I swear, man. Cats. Alright, who are you gonna sheep? Probably Harima. Oh, really? Interesting. I think I would have um, sheeped my only damage dealer, personally. Okay, so we luck out and we get rid of our mons. This guy's got the carnage icon. I'd really like that one day. Soon. All right, so now we have to worry about Marius. There's no real point in trying to take down Marius right now. What we can do is focus on just getting Necrit down. If we get Necrit down, then we're in a better position. Oof. All right, we're going to boost turn meter. Or not boost, boost turn meter, we're going to revive. And Marius is still in, in a good position to... Oh, here it comes. Yeah, we got Marius. All right, we might be in trouble because Georgia is there. It's a big issue. Uh-oh. I was worried she was going to put Siffy to sleep. What do you do? Do you transform and hit the A2? Or do you... Oh, okay. Now we know what you're doing. Alright, so Sippy does go to sleep. Are you gonna A3? You're gonna A2. Okay. Now, who are you gonna. Probably through an Ethwe. And then hit the A2. Yeah. There it is. Alright, so we're able to go first here. And I could give it to. Rodos. Who will then. Give it to Gaius. We don't like bombers. And whoever this mythical is. Maybe I should have hit him first. Alright. We're okay. We got this. He almost had me there. Okay. They're at half turn meter. Uh oh. They're almost full up. Pushing us back. But we have our bonds. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Let's push back Arbiter. And just keep poking at certain people. Keep them slow. Keep us fast. Get rid of Gaius again. Let's hit the A1 on this mythical. And we're going to hit you once more. Put you to sleep. And yeah. It's always a constant push and pull between... Like, winning and losing. You have strings of wins, wins and then strings of losses just is what it is. Can't win them all. I think when you set your expectations low and like you just are mentally okay with losing and knowing that you're going to lose a plethora of fights, things kind of just become easier for me to deal with. And um, I'm more okay with just like leaving a match as soon as I know that I'm going to lose for sure. So here we can, let's boost turn meter. 
What does he do again? Fuck. Uh oh, what does he do? What does he do? What is he doing? What is he doing? Jesus. And he puts our skills on cooldown? Fudge. Oh boy. I gotta get me some mythicals. Yeah, so here it's likely we're going to lose, so we're just gonna leave. I feel like no matter how you slice it, if you're a little bit stubborn and you just kind of refuse to lose, and you adjust yourself to doing fights where, like, you just need to win. And one second. Um, and then, oh wow, what the hell? And then you, um, like, if you're fighting a fight and you know you're going to lose, but you stay in the fight just because you want to see it through, I feel like you're shooting, you're shooting yourself in the foot because that's time you could have put into the next fight. You know what I'm saying? So nowadays, I kind of just dip when I know that it's quite possible that I'm going to leave. Now, there's always a few fights where it's, like, possible and you have a chance, but those are few and far in between. So I don't rely on them too much. Yeah, so he made a good move there. Especially where time is so limited, you really have to decide how you want to spend that time. So you could just sit here and then fight a losing battle, or you could just jump into the next fight and potentially get somebody a little bit easier or get really lucky. And then before you know it, you already have your, your fight done. You know what I mean? So that's just the way that I approach things now. Like this, I'm not going to win, so. Especially when time is so limited in the live arena. But alright. Let's boost. And then we're going to get Georgia through this guy. And then push back turn meter. Leo's an issue, but we're going to have Rodos come through for us here. There you go. Alright, we got lucky, and Armand's is not in stone skin. So now we can give this to Georgia. We will then give it to Trenda, and then we can give it to Armand's. Throw it on auto. Boom. But you see, the last two fights were like 17 seconds and then 15 seconds. But if I had stayed in a fight where uh, it was a harder fight, you know what I mean? I'd be spending like, what, 10, 15 minutes trying to win that when I could have breezed through and possibly gotten like a bunch of 10, 20, 30 second fights. This guy was being extra thoughtful, taking his time with his uh, picks. It's kind of annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's get rid of Carnage. And I don't want to get rid of Wukong yet, so we're going to hit Tormin. I want to save Wukong for eth Ethos. An Eth way, I mean. So let's hit this. Then put her to sleep. And then go in. Alright, we matched with him again. So let's hope that we're able to take the win home. Let's first get rid of... Actually, we can transform here. Let's transform, push everybody's turn meter back, stun up. Okay, we're going to get rid of Armand's. And then we're going to hit this so that Wukong has his turn meter pushed back a little bit, but it doesn't matter. Looks like his A3 is going to pop off. We're going to bring everybody back. He almost got us there. Let's hit the A2 um, here. So, oh damn, now he got, oh, that Freya can hit. Very nice. I couldn't help it. I had to ban Ancora. I feel like whenever Ancora is in, it, it just makes the fight so much harder. Um, a lot more harder than it needs to be. Let's hit Armand's. Let's put Wukong to sleep. Although Narcis was looking like a nice threat, so I might have messed up here. I should have uh, put him to sleep, but then this mythical's here too, so I, I don't know what he does. Uh, oh, apparently he hits hard. So, yeah, okay. It still astounds me that there are some teams out there who have, like, Makage. And, um, let's try to, uh, break this stone skin here. Uh, it surprises me that there's Makages out there, and even Lissandra's who can outspeed my Siffy, who's going, like, over 400. So, that's kind of crazy. Shit, shit, shit. All right, I left Nice in here because I, I wanted some practice with him. Uh, I don't fight him enough. So 
let's get rid of this bomber. I learned that that's what he does. And then you're going to hit your A3. Let's try to put the attack down on you. That doesn't hurt. Okay, I guess it doesn't happen. And he gets an instant turn. This guy's broken. Especially when he transforms. Let's hit Warlord. Alright, let's put Warlord to sleep. Oh, let's kill him. Alright. Not sure what she does, but it looks like she's uh, problematic enough. We're going to transform stun. Can he get stunned? Is that a thing? If I hit him, does he transform immediately? Yeah, he transforms. Does he still have his stun up? Oh, he does. Okay. Let's put you to sleep. Let's swipe at you. Oh, he's not that bad. What am I, what am I saying over here? What are we saying over here? I thought he was a lot harder. Oh boy. We have Torment here, so it's going to be an issue for us. But I think we'll be fine. Two Stone Skinners here, so there's the benefit in that. I got to build more people in Stone Skin. You can probably still transform. You might hit the A2. Or you try, you're probably going to try and remove Stone Skin from here. Okay. Let's get rid of Wukong. A3. Oh. Is that stun set Wukong? Or stun set Tormund? Alright, let's try to remove some buffs here. Let's try to get rid of Yumiko. And we're gonna hit the A1. Okay. I had a choice. I had a choice between banning Armands or Tormund. And they banned my Sippy. I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out. We can try to risk it for the biscuit. But then. Oh, wait, no. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I thought I was gonna push turn meter back. Alright, let's, uh. Let's just do it. Let's just hit this. Even though freezing might have been an issue there. Had to be sure. What are you going to do, Yumiko? You got to hit the A3. That's what I would do too. All right, let's just focus on you. Hit you again. Please don't weak hit. Okay, it didn't weak hit, but still. Maybe we can... Oh, thank God. Okay. We're in good positions. We have a, we have a good... Uh, we have a good nice setup. They're damaged. Okay. Oh boy, this guy was fast type shit. When he was picking his champions, he was quick with it. It's like he knew what he was doing. That's crazy. All right, let's get rid of Gorgro first. Push back turn meter. Use the eighth two. Block Karima's revive. Poke at this guy. Pokey pokey. Po 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 pokey. Po 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 pokey. Po po pokey 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 poke. All right, try to remove some stuff here. Does is he the guy who transforms and hits really hard? Oh crap, it is him. I'm gonna start calling him the God of War dude. Cause he um looks like that dude from God of War. And then Gurgo's here. Gurgo hits hard too. That's an issue. How does he have so many turns? Back to back turns. That's crazy. Let's get uh Georgia back. Uh-oh. Gurgo's gonna take a move. Should I have A1? I should have A1 Gurgo. That's what happens when you don't think. Why don't you think, burrito? Think. All right, let's put you to sleep. Oh, God. A2? Don't A2 me, bro. Come on. Gurgo. Gurgo, stop it. Stop it, Gurgo. You're being a dick. Oh, shoot. Don't hit me too hard, please. Oh, God. All right, boost turn meter. Remove that. Remove those buffs. Uh-oh. Come on. You got to A1. Who are you going to A1, though? All right. I got to check out Gurgo's new moveset. It seems he... It, it seems like he's more functional than anything nowadays. Um, We're going to just hit the A1. Hmm. Okay, nice and hard. That's how we like it. Let's do... Let's put you to sleep. Okay, now we can revive everybody. Uh-oh, is this the clutch? Is this the move here? Are we doing it? Sleep. Push back, Gurgo. Get rid of Gurgo. Hmm. Mm-mm. What are you gonna do? 
what are you going to do? Come on, bro. You were so quick. Stay quick. There you go. All right, boost turn meter. Try to uh, reduce the... Oh, that's not going to work, but that will. And then hit the A1. Boom. What, what is that? Fight 23? I could potentially be screwed here. We might have an issue. Let's try to push Makage back. And then we're going to place this up so that we don't have to worry about freezes. But we have to worry about, um, what do you call it? Yumiko putting our skills on cooldown. Oh, nice choice. Nice choice. Very nice choice. Let's push back um, George's turn meter just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Nice. Nice. Remove those buffs. You want, you know, the less buffs you have, the better for, for the for the opposition. I'm going to hit Makage. Now, Makage is probably going to try and transform to keep the uh, stuns up. We have two champions here. Yep. Let's uh, hit Tormin. Now, I'm probably just going to, yep, remove. All right, if we can get Rodos back, we might be in good hands. Uh-oh, A1. Yeah, that's what I would do too. But let's go ahead and do this in case she does go down. We can revive. All right. Going pretty fast. They're cycling through their moves pretty quickly. Might have an issue here. Gonna have to disrupt something here. All right, what are you gonna do? All right. Oof, okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of Yumiko. There you go. Then get rid of Makage. There you go. Now we can just auto it. Hell yeah, bro. Sometimes things just work out. Sometimes things just work out. Dropping the god hand. Sending it right back. And it's a clap. Over everything, he banned my lockout champion. All right, so we're gonna have to wait. Oh, Odin is the main is the main one. All right, so we got rid of Odin, and now we just have to wait for everybody else to get down on it. Yeah, you take that lion sword. Remember my name. All right, fighting him again, and honestly, I hate these kinds of fights where it's just like the second time around. They usually get me. Watch this. And it's actually kind of my fault. I, I made the wrong decisions. Um, basically, I chose Armand's, and then he chose Warlord. And then I didn't choose Arbiter. I chose instead... Um, what do you call it? I chose instead uh, Shu Zen. Because I was trying to... Because I was expecting that his Marius was going to be tankier than his Odin. I don't know why. But that resulted in me choosing Shu Zen, hoping to buff Georgid, but then he, he instead of banning Armands, he banned Shu Zen. We'll see if uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of L's shoved down my throat this time around. All right, so I, I can envision Marius taking his turn and, and messing me up here, but we'll see. Okay, so we weren't able to decrease the turn meter of or not the turn meter. We weren't able to decrease his uh, stone skin. So, we'll see. Let's get rid of Arbiter. Luckily, we were able to survive that onslaught of abilities that he had. Now, we do have to worry about Foley. Let's get rid of Marius first. Big threat. Let's take a swing at Tormin. Try to increase our HP a little bit, and we'll see where this turns out. Because if we is able to get rid of okay so he got rid of Arima. we're gonna hit the a1 i don't want to risk any buffs going up on wait wait a minute i forgot um what do you call it i should have done the ally attack because rodos rodos is gonna have his abilities removed regardless his debuffs moves i, um, I mean because he's paired with sifi i keep forgetting that oh boy look at this guy he's got nine trophies and his Shu Zen outspeeds both my Siffy 
and my Arbiter. And this does not look good. This is going to hurt. Oh god. And then he's got Yumiko right after to put skills on cooldown. Wait, why did he leave? I'm kind of disappointed about that last... Wow, his Yuma goes faster than my, my Siffy. I'm kind of disappointed in that last fight because I... Oh, intercept, fuck. I really wanted to see if I, I would have been able to actually beat that guy, but now I'll, I'll never know. He kind of just left and, you know... But all right, we're going to go ahead and try to uh, win a fight here. It's interesting how when Gizmax here, the HP burns like just melt through my stone skin. I always find that interesting. Now, Jing Wang is here. Doesn't he remove debuffs? All right, we got rid of Odin. Let's put Jing Wang to sleep. And we're going to just hit the A1 on Gizzy. Probably do that revive. And then, no, not the revive, you're waiting. Okay, that's fine. We'll just hit the A1 here. We're gonna take another poke at you. Oh, what if what if the A3 actually went through? I, I wasn't paying attention. It could have been that Cardiel or Cardinal just doesn't have the, the skill ready because I Warlord was able to get through this or get, get through the resistance. I keep saying stone skin, but usually people build her with a crap ton of resistance and that's probably what was the case here uh my warlord was able to poke through but okay so let's just end this i'm gonna hit the a2 on my savage torment boom not enough not enough not enough there you go well i took a risk here i had to decide if i wanted to ban um his armands or torment and unfortunately I had to ban uh, his Armands. So we have to see what we want to do here. I'm not really sure, but let's go ahead and give it to Georgid. Get through Warlord. And then we can try to hit the A2 here. Now he lives. If Torment is alive, does that mean he can still revive everybody? Or what's his deal? Because doesn't he, whenever he's about to die, his entire team is still alive or if his entire team is dead he often every time i've seen it he just transforms and then brings everybody back to life i always hate going up against ancora and narcis nowadays because whenever they're together it's just completely toxic it is it is a very toxic situation to be in let's give it to rodos i believe he can clap siffy give it to her nice and good and then take some HP off of Narcis. And then we can hit the A2, decrease that defense, boost Harima a little bit. Hopefully it you know, helps out however we can. And then he's doing his thing. You're probably going to revive. And then Narcis is going to take his turn. And then it's a clap on my end. So that in of itself could be an issue unless I hit the A1 and lock you out. Then we might have something. Then we might have something there. So he's probably going to A1 on Arbiter to prevent any potential revives or buffing. At least that's what I would do. Oh, you hit Rodos. And then Ward of the Fallen happened. Let's hit the A3 off of Hrima. Try to get lucky. We don't get that lucky. We're doing what we can here. We don't want to mess around with a turn meter. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, fuck. Sometimes you just get into situations that you will lose no matter what. I banned his Ancora, and I realized that because everybody's in stone skin, it kind of just doesn't matter because <laughs> I'm screwed either way. But let's give it to Rodos. Maybe he can hit Armand's hard enough. And nope, that's not happening. Watch him take the A2. He doesn't take the A2. Okay. Well, let's put Armand to sleep then. Maybe we have a chance then. I was about to leave too. I was ready. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it to happen. Oh, wait a minute. <sighs> Taurus Marishka. Fuck. He had like the two, two cancer couples. 
He had Narcis and Cora, Taurus and Mariska, and Armands. Just full on toxicity. Stay positive. Well, uh, the best we can do is just see what happens. Uh, yeah. I mean, we kind of already know what's going to happen. He's going to drop it as soon as Sippy goes down. Yeah, no. Sometimes you just take a bunch of L's to the face, and it is what it is. Oh, fuck. Lissandra's about to do it. She's about to do me in. This is a sleeper champion. Sometimes, in the right situations, she just messes me up. HP swap and everything. All right, girl. Give it to me nice and good. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Cat scared the crap out of me. Poke. I thought this said LZD Jizz for some reason. Uh, let's bring Georgie back. And we get a boost to attack. Let's get rid of Lissandra. To this day, I keep I keep making this mistake where I bring Georgia into the fight, but I don't bring somebody to buff him up. So he's just there without his buffs. And if you don't know, Georgia doesn't really hit that hard by himself without any buffs. He needs to have increased attack to, you know, become actually viable. And so therein, you know, lies uh, the issue. So we'll see how far we're able to get. Uh, let's stop him from taking a move because I know he does bombs. I'm just not exactly sure how this is gonna pan out. So removal, let's hit the A2. Now it's just Mariska. Put her to sleep, hit the A1. We do have to worry about everybody when they come back. So I'm keeping, I'm keeping Harima's A3 available. Because as soon as his mythicals take an, take an attack, I feel like it, it's gonna just mess me up. It's just gonna mess me up. So let's let's stop. Oh, there it goes. A two. Yep. Here it is. There it is. Here it comes. Oh boy. Yep. Is this it? What are you saying? Yep. It's over. Mythicals, man. All right, let's hope that we get a single win. Maybe this will be the one. Now, Georgette is there, but okay. So Freya saved her, which was actually kind of nice. Now we have to worry about Georgie. Let's see if we can break his stone skin. And no, we can't. Let's try to hit the A1. Maybe we get an extra turn. We don't. But what we can do is sheep him. At the very least, that'll buy us some time to see what's going to happen next. Now, Freya can actually hit. I've seen her hit before. How hard? I don't know if it's going to be enough, but we'll see. Okay. So then you come back, and then it's just it's a clap from there, probably. Yeah. <laughs> and the crappy thing is, for live arena missions now, if you want to win your five or do your advanced quest, I, I think I think you have to win like a certain amount. But if you constantly get fights back to back where you're losing, it's kind of like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, look at this. What am I supposed to do against this team? What, what am I supposed to do? It's a bunch of mythicals. Well, let's put their skills on cooldown, and let's get rid of Crixia, and then we're going to A2 on Wukong. He'll come back in a bit. You're probably going to transform. I don't know what Androk does. I know his name. You're going to transform. You're going to use your A3. Then Androk takes a turn, and then Wukong's going to come back and probably hit the uh, A3, unless we can outspeed him, which is unlikely. So we're not stopping him from taking his turn. Does Is he a nuker? I don't know what he does. Okay, so he... Maybe I should have... Alright, well, we'll do this. Oh, and because we weak hit with Enfeeble, we don't get anything done. 
Let's try to boost turn meter and get through this. Swipe at Androck. And of course, it's not going to help. You're going to hit the A2. Boom, look at that. Hit the A1. We weak hit because of Enfeeble. So I'm feeling I'm feeling frustrated that I've done quite a few fights already, and um, like the majority of them is just me losing. And I know I'm gonna get some people, you know, along the lines, say something like, "Oh, but you have this and this and this and this and this." It's an interesting concept, right? It's basically people telling you that you don't have the right to feel what you feel. It's it's basically saying like oh you don't you don't you know don't don't be frustrated because there's other things you can be happy about. Let's see if we can some wins on my on my other account today. We're going to place block buffs, and then I just realized that they're going to remove it as soon as I do, unless I put their skills on cooldown. No, but then she's going to transform and remove it anyway. So, yeah, there it is. Yep. Might as well. Might as well boost turn meter. And then you're going to... Mikage is probably going to sleep my uh, Rotos. Oh, I guess unless he doesn't kill me first, which he's probably going to. So when you're getting like multiple losses in a row, <laughs> get rid of our Mons. And maybe we'll get, you know, we'll be okay. Maybe we'll be okay with a uh, Hefrak, uh, Hefrak doing his thing. So you're going to revive somebody. Just hurry up and do it. I guess not. A2 sleep. Yep. Now you're going to revive somebody. Alright, dude. You're taking way too long to make a decision. There you go. Do your thing, come on. Skills on cooldown. And then we do this. Woohoo, finally a win after 10 losses. All right, Harima is the biggest threat here. We're going to... Let's not use our a3 quite yet let's see if we can hold off on it and then have everybody do their nukes and then repeat the process so boom nuke boost turn meter and then we'll see if this person does anything or okay you know wixville is actually kind of annoying to deal with because of his uh provoke ability yeah See, now I'm provoked and I can't do anything. So if my plan here was to um, wreck more to Macabre, well, now I'm in trouble because I can't, uh, you know, deal with that situation here. All right, let's remove this. We'll see if he... All right, so he doesn't have his passive, which is a good thing for us. Let's see if we can try to remove some buffs. And then now we're going to drop these spears, pipe them up. Doesn't work. Not yet. Too tanky. And that's with our buffs as well. So you got to wonder, is it time for me to uh, rebuild Marius? I think so. But the thing is with, with Marius, he's already in Slayer gear. Like he's not like completely useless. But he's just not hitting as hard as I... I th now, maybe it's my gear, but it's it's weird because my gear, I, I thought it was pretty good. All right, let's see how we do with this one. We have Tormund, so we're going to rely on Tormund doing Tormund things. Doing the freezing, doing the killing, ki killing, killing. Okay, so let's go... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Who should we kill? Let's get rid of Makage because I don't want to get CC'd. And um, hmm, who should we push back... Let's just put this on, on him, just in case Mikage does take a turn. 
and try to um, place any any buffs or debuffs on us. Or I guess we can just Armand's the situation as well. But we're going to keep hitting Makage because she does have the capability of removing the debuffs that are on her, I just realized. All right, here we go. I remember fighting this guy before. Very nice. All right. We do have to worry about um, bombs coming off of this guy. But we'll see if we can survive there. Okay. We're going up against a Captain Batutin. So let's do this. Let's first get rid of the rat. How dare you fuck with Christmas? Yeah, read his lore. All right, let's see if I get lucky with this one. Boom, do it. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do this. Here, we'll do the cleanse. Then we're gonna transform. Yeah! And then we're gonna hit the A2. Oh yeah, take it. Oh fuck, we got polymorphed. All right, put them down. We can do this. Guys, we can still do this. It's okay. We're, we're gonna figure this out. Here, let's hit, let's hit Siffy. Teamwork, guys. Get that sheep in there. All right. Put my sheep to sleep. Put my sheep to sleep. All right. Let's see. Let's, let's, should we boost turn meter? Who should we get? Let's push back Rodos because he's about to take a turn. And hmm, who should we? Now let's put this up. We're gonna put our, our block buffs up because we can't let Tormund do a thing to us. Okay. And now we're gonna hit. Siffy again. Got a good healing off of that. All right, let's let's hit Rotos with the sheep. We're kind of in a in a in a in an iffy situation here. This isn't the this isn't a good one. Do not hit Makage. Really, hit the A one on Makage. Don't do it, Harima. Don't don't you fucking do. Oh, you goddamn bastard. All right. There you go. There you go. Here comes the, the block buffs. All right, we have to worry about Rodos. Rodos is about to take a turn. Here it comes, here it comes. All right, let's boost here. And we still have to worry about Harima, who's about to knock us into the park. All right. Oh my gosh, how dare you? How dare you? I'll be honest, I fucked up here. I only chose one damage dealer, and I didn't properly plan. Like, Cardiel does do damage, but it's not enough, especially right now with that specific team. You know, I actually want to try building out Gurgo now that he's gotten buffed, but um, I just don't really see myself building him anytime soon. Let's get rid of Gurgo first, because, uh, you know, he puts out that, that bad stuff. We don't want that. And then we're going to... Let's see, try to remove some buffs, or sorry, remove the debuffs off of us. Got to worry about Narcy's doing his thing here. Okay, we barely survived that one. Barely survived it. Boom, boom, there it is. Sometimes you just don't win them. Balut! All right, for this one, we're going to throw out an auto and just see what happens. Let's aim down on Rodos, though. Rodos, what are you going to do? Bro, you know there's not much you can do. Just just do something already. Boom. Now, this is one of the situations where you're just kind of screwed no matter what. So, you know, we'll, we'll do our best, but this is just, this probably won't end well, is, is all I have to say. <laughs> so, let's see if we can at least provoke. Yeah, so we got the provoke off on him. Now, she's probably going to cleanse. Yeah, she cleanses. So, that becomes a different issue altogether. Cardiel's going to get stunned, and then we get smacked. Yeah, so we're not winning this one. I'm not going to stick around and find out. It's funny, because I matched with that guy again, but but um, he gave it to me. So, you know, shout out to that guy, because he saw me and immediately left. He's like, hey, man, take a free win. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. It's likely we're in danger with this one because this guy has that carnage symbol, so um, we'll see. 
let's focus down on Rodos first, since he is, at least to me, like the biggest threat. So let's just aim down on Duchess. Yeah, he's gonna come back, but I think I think we'll be okay. Let's do this, and then bring the smack down. Oh, huh, interesting. All right, we're going up against Quirty Wood. He banned my Tormin, so that's um, you know its own set of issues, but we'll see. All right, I know Valkanen can actually put in some work, so he's the one I'm, I'm mostly worried about. Put the cooldown, the A1 on our Mons. See if that does anything decent for us. Oof, that's terrible. That's a that's a that's a very mean move. That's a very mean spirited move. Move. That's that's a that's a very bad bad Valkanen. How dare you? I honestly really hate the Ancora Narcis combo. It's such an annoying combo, especially on this account where I don't have uh, Georgid. It can be extremely annoying. All right, Sifia, what are you gonna do? All right. Hopefully. Oh, wait a minute. I shouldn't aim down on him because he doesn't receive damage if it's not um, his his time. So I'm thinking here, we can transform and see if we can remove buffs, especially that stone skin. See what we can and can't do. All right, let's do this. One, two, three. Okay, so not enough. Not enough to stop Narcis from doing his thing. Vitalis takes a turn. Are you gonna revive or play strengthen? That is the question. Okay, you place the strength in with the shield. Fatalis is gonna do his, I think he does like a, a nasty AoE. Yeah, that's a bad, it's a extremely hard um, hitting move there. And then he does his thing, yeah. You do have to worry about Foley here. Wow, that's a fast mythical champion. Outspeed, outsped my, um, what do you call it? Arbiter, Arbiter. Ah, Odin, doing Odin things. Yep, there you go. So, another loss. All right, so we actually outsped Siffy, which is a, a good thing. Let's see if we can keep her back. All right, so we got one down. Now, Odin is uh, another issue in and of himself. Yeah, this is not a good, uh... yeah, okay. another Another string of losses. Okay. And we get outsped by Arbiter. And then Odin takes his A2, which is, um, you know, pretty nasty, to be honest. He doesn't take his A2. Okay. Never mind. Then let's aim down on uh, Arbiter. And then we're going to aim down on Odin. I just, I never really feel satisfied going up against uh, lower level players. It's because, like, when you go up against somebody who's a lower level, you already have, like, um, I don't know what it is. It's just, like, you, you already have an advantage, and it doesn't really feel good to uh, win with that advantage. Like, it doesn't feel legit, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I guess that's, like, my biggest thing about it, but, you know. I mean, I'll eat free wins all day, every day. But sometimes you, you just want to feel like you're, you were strong enough, but, you know what I mean? So that's an issue in and of itself but you know it's a me issue so it is what it is vlad goodbye all right so we're going up against somebody from the sacred pandas he banned my tormen everybody was bans tormen so we'll see how this goes if our mons can take a move we might be able to be a little bit cancerous at least putting people's skills on cooldown with the A1. Let's go ahead and put Gurgo to sleep. I forgot he's got intercept, but that's fine. We'll take it. Bone chilling. Oh, it's a buff removal too. I completely forgot about that. Boom, nice hit. All right, let's hit our buy. Yeah, I should really build out Gurgo. All right, let's, let's take care of the damage dealer here. It's like the, the first thing that we, we should focus on. Probably gonna transform. What are you gonna do? Never mind. Revive. Okay, smart, smart. Put the put the 
hex on us so that if we try to sleep with the Siffy, it becomes an issue. Not gonna work. All right, good job. Let's push your turn meter back. Let's hit the A1 here. Then you come back. Come on, Sacred Panda, hurry up. I just throw it around on auto. If Harima can get a move off, I think we might have a decent chance. All right. Doesn't that move put skill on cooldown? See, what is it? We're already two minutes in. Come on, dude. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Make a fucking move already. Jesus Christ. It's interesting how we banned my, um... Anathway over Georgid. I've always seen people ban Georgid first. So I thought that was interesting. Let's get rid of Warlord. And then push turn meter back also. Um, never mind, we don't kill anybody else. For some reason, I thought we were going to be able to kill more people. I guess not. All right, now let's hit the A2. Try to get some Veil off. We're going to boost speed turn meter. And you're probably going to aim down on Georgid. Nope, you're going to aim down on everybody. We're going to bring Georgid back. Buff. Let's push turn meter back. Oh, uh, never mind. We don't push turn meter back on Warlord. But we can hit him with the A3 and then hit Harima. All right. So now it's just a matter of waiting until Tormund goes night night. In fact, let's not boost turn meter until Siffy is able to place the uh, block buffs on everybody. Okay, nice. It's um, a savage, savage torment. We're going to hit the A1 on Duchess for now. Then we're going to place the block buffs, and then we're going to buff Georgid, hit the A3, and then smack. And then now it's just uh, a matter of either he leaves or whenever we bring uh, him down. There you go. All right, we got paired up again with him, so hopefully we don't embarrass ourselves and lose. So let's give it to, let's get rid of Rotos first. There you go. And we're just going to, let's hit the A A2 on him. Maybe we can try to break, break stone skin. Okay, never mind. We, we're not doing that. It's not happening today. You might actually revive everybody. Let's try to remove the veil. Okay, we don't get it off of Rodos, so that's an issue. You're gonna hit your A2. Let's go ahead and aim down on Warlord for a minute. All right, poking at Duchess. All right, he's got a good chance here. If I were him, I'd probably aim down on Arbiter first and then swipe at Siffy. Oh, is that a plus four Rotos? All right, we're going to hit Duchess. What I should have done was hit the A1 on Wukong and then blocked his revive. Because now he's here and he could hit really hard. It could be a problem for us. Yeah, there you go. See, that's a big problem. We're going to poke at Duchess. You're going to hit the A2. Get a little bit of a heal in. Now he's going to try and swipe probably at Duchess. Or not Duchess, um, Siffy. There you go. Boom, boom. There you go, now he's out. So I think the best move here is probably just to try and survive as best as possible with Harima. All right, get the counter attack in. Yeah, I mean, it's not looking too promising. If we, if he weak hit, hits here, we might be okay, Never mind. 
So let's boost turn meter. Try to give it to Rodos. Let's get rid of... Um, well, let's try to get rid of Ancora first. And then now we're going to swipe at Rodos. Or not Rodos, um, Odin. Now let's put... Put Narcis to sleep. And then see how he does. We might be able to survive his onslaught that he's about to drop. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, we do survive, which is good for us. Let's boost turn meter. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Fuck. That's okay. Gonna bring Rodos in. Let's push him back. I completely fucking forgot. Oh, my God. I forgot Shuzen and the, the turn meter decrease was not a good move. Fuck, dude. I had it. I'm making stupid mistakes. God dang. All right, let's boost. Here it comes. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I had it and I fumbled the ball. That was me. Yeah, that's what happens when you get cocky and you think the, the win is right there. But but no. The, sometimes you just got to keep yourself grounded and, and not, let you, uh, not let yourself think that you've already won. It's not a good thing. Obviously, you saw what happened. All right, let's see if we can get rid of both of them, and we do. And now we can just throw it on auto, and then see what happens. So Nishak is still capable of really messing us up, so we got to make sure that he doesn't take a turn, or he he's not able to do what he needs to do. Never mind. And this guy banned my Georgid. Good choice. Good choice. Let's see if we can survive. That's actually a, a decently fast Duchess, I think. All right, let's hit the A2. All right, so we got one, we got two. And uh, Hefrak is an issue, or is an issue, but not so much of an issue that I'm that all that worried about him. Let's boost Shuzen, bring us up, and then get Duchess. And then now it's just a matter of surviving you, Hefrak. All right, how hard do you hit? Hopefully it's not enough. Boom. Oh my gosh, we got Hefrak. That was actually impressive. So let's boost turn meter and you're going to go. But if you boost, you risk the freezes going off. And even if the rat takes a turn, I don't think his bombs or his um his move where he, you know, pokes with bombs or tries to place the bombs it is going to work out too well. Then there's Quintus, who I've heard isn't that great. Should I boost turn meter or put Crixia to sleep? Let's put Crixia to sleep and we'll see what happens. All right, now let's push their turn meter back and put their skills on cooldown, hitting with Harima. Throw it on auto. Never mind. All right. All right, we'll see if we get lucky. Hopefully, he doesn't have stone skin on. Okay. We might have a decent chance at taking a turn before Leo takes a turn. All right. Okay, uh-oh. We might have to worry about Leo here. A2 on Rodos. There you go. And let's push back turn meter and put their skills on cooldown. And now um, our mods could take a turn here. So let's do that. Put them on a stun. Place a stun on them, I mean. And I think we're in a good position here. Gonna hit the A3. Let's place block buffs and a heal. And we just need Rodos to take a turn here. So let's see, we can sheep. Let's sheep Yostrid. And push the turn meter back on you. Okay, now we're gonna get rid of Rodos. And let's swipe at Arbiter. Sheep takes a turn. Unless this guy takes forever to make a turn. All right. And then we're going to hit Riho. One, two. Buckle your shoes. There you go. I'm relying heavily on um, outlasting them. So I have my stone skin on. And we'll see if we're, we're able to resist his A3. Uh, Wukong's A3. 
Okay, so we're not able to, so that's an issue. Let's see what Tormund does. All right, smart, smart. Put their skills on cooldown. And uh, let's get rid of Tormund. We still have to worry heavily about Wukong, but he's got stone skin on. So I don't know how that's gonna, how this is gonna pan out. Okay, skills on cooldown. All right. Tried to push the turn meter back. A2. See if it kills us. Any day now, dude. All right, so he hit the A1. Soul Reap popped up. I don't know why he didn't hit the A2. I would have hit the A2 personally. Now you might transform and place that stone skin thing on. No, you don't. Okay. Let's hit Arbiter. We have the decrease attack on on uh, on Wukong now. All right, let's hit Wukong. Okay, so now he's out of the picture. And now we just have to wait and see if we're able to outlast him, do damage, or, or what. I don't know why he didn't transform. I feel like if he had transformed, that might have uh, put it in his favor. Oh man, I totally forgot to hit record. But um, here we are, we started out, I locked them out, and I used the A2 from Harima on Taurus, and then I... Uh, now I'm just hitting the A1, waiting for things to come come full circle. I do have to worry about this, um, what do you call it, this mythical champion here. So, we'll see. I don't, I don't know what fight this is. I think this is fight number, let me, let me see here. Yeah, he's shredding. That's crazy. I'm gonna hit the A1 on, what's this guy's name? Necrit? Now this is fight number 72, by the way. All right, so... I have to wait for her stone skin to fall off. We're going to put him to sleep. I wonder if she's going to revive or place buffs in the hopes that Taurus is going to do his thing. Let's hit the A2 on Ancora. Try to get rid of her because she's, yeah. Now, it's been a while since I've used Rhonda. Happy to see her on my team again. I do think she is somebody who is, um, you know, not somebody who's relatively used too often at least in my experience i don't see too many rondas and i definitely don't see too many um wow i got totally distracted damn i'm getting molly whopped the fuck was that did i just get odin i mean that was kind of crazy like he moved fast enough to be able to remove my buffs that was crazy all right so you have a chance of getting frozen all around. Alright, you don't. At least Makage is able to take a turn. What is she going to do? If she tries to remove our buffs, she has a chance to. we have a chance to freeze over there as well. Let's get rid of Wukong. Or at least ha try to make an attempt to. There you go. It worked out in our favor. Alright, now we can full auto. Just throw it on auto and whatever happens, happens. I'm curious about Artac being in here. Because Artac isn't your traditional damage dealer. So I'd be curious to see if he's like a secret nuker. Now we have to worry about Makage. All in all, it's just a fight to, to see if we can eventually get rid of Makage. That's like the biggest thing here. Those HP burns are popping off. I'll give him that. Now she is doing a very good job at keeping us at bay. But we'll see if uh, if we're able to get rid of Makage. It's taking a while. There you go. There you go, come on, let's do something. Let's go. These are one of those fights where it's just like, you know you're not gonna win, so I don't know why you're still here. So I've been recording this video over multiple days. It's been taking me a while. It took like two or three days off, um, just because I, I, I'm just taking a break from Raid, to be honest. I'm not really um, 
all that into it currently. So I haven't really been doing much raiding. But to give you context of where I am, uh, this video started before all of those notes about the new fusion was coming or the new boss was coming out. And now we are after Ash responded to that one guy who was talking smack about him. Um, so that's where I'm at. That's where we're at. All right, who are we going to get? Let's poke. Let's take a poke at you. Yes, we popped off with the A3. Now let's take a swipe at Wukong. Start dwindling him down. Let's lock him out, or at least try to put his turn meter back, but that's not going to work. So, Uko is in a stun set. We have to worry about what we... Okay, so we, we barely made that. If Wukong... Alright, so we're able to get rid of Wukong first. Let's try to put Uko to sleep. Yeah, I was worried about Foley. If Foley was able to take that move there and um, block us out, block our revive, we'd be in trouble. So let's get rid of Foley first. And then we're going to take a rip at Wukong again. Let's throw it on auto, see what happens. All right, now Wukong is here. Let's hit, take a hit at Wukong and then swipe again at Uko. The weak hits, man. It's all the weak hits. All right, will you revive? What are we doing here? Okay, so we're going to put you to sleep so that you can't take a turn. We're going to hit... Um, Uko. Hit the A1 on Uko again. All of those weak hits. We can't put him to sleep. So now it's just a matter of waiting. He's probably going to revive soon if I can't get to him in time. Slow them down. Hit the A2. Get rid of Wukong again. And then take a swipe at Uko. Finally. Alright, this one's going to be a toughie. They might go fast enough to uh, beat me out. And if Shu Zen takes a turn, we're kind of a uh, shit out of luck. But we do have Tormund here. So Tormund's going to be here in case buffs go up from both Odin or Shu Zen. If she comes back, I guess when she comes back, because there's a good chance that she might try to provoke and it doesn't work against Harima. Damn. And then here comes her a. Oh, okay. All right, well, let's see if um, we can get by with just Tormin. Let's get rid of... Uh... Okay, we're not getting rid Yeah, we're not winning this. Let's just leave. This time I banned Odin. You know, when he first came out, I was a little bit, I guess, harsh. But to be fair, I was able to access him before anybody else was able to. So, like, the video I came out with talking about Odin... Um, like it didn't have enough thought behind it because I had a short time to go. Wow, that reaction is fucking insane. Um, yeah. So when, when I when I first reviewed him and talked about him, I was I was like not impressed with him. And to be fair, I think that wasn't um, you know a good assumption on him because he's a cracked champion. But then again, like like I said no other content creator had come out with a guide on him quite yet but yeah i was basically wrong about him absolutely insane champion deserves a lot more praise than the old burrito gave him all right so what's he gonna do all right let's put so we can either steal actually it's steal turn meter because i think we're gonna have enough turn meter to steal in order to take another turn then sheep nishak then what we're going to do is we're going to hit the A1 on Arbiter. And then we're going to hit the A3 off of Ethos, or an Ethway. Unfortunately, we don't block the revive on Wukong, but we'll get around to him second time around. Let's go ahead and hit the A3. Okay, we weren't able to provoke Nishak. That's fine. We get him out of the way. And we're just going to go ahead and end it. But... It was nice to have him here, Anithwe, as a backup. I'll be honest, I was hoping he was going to pick my Alaz and ban him. He was bait. He's not built yet. But we'll, um, we'll see. Yeah, I was, I was really hoping, but he still banned Armands. I was like, alright, maybe if I'm lucky, he'll, uh, 
he'll just ban he'll ban Allah's the sun bear but nah he he uh he did not ban Allah's the sun bear <laughs> he let Allah's stay let's um start swiping at him try to get him out of the way uh I wish she would stay asleep but that that uh, passive she has is gonna keep them awake so yep hits the a2 on par for the course the laws goes down not that he was worth anything i guess you could say he was just built different <laughs> that's stupid all right we're gonna focus down on well first let's sheep you never mind we're not sheeping you let's get rid of you there you go and we're gonna put mithrala to sleep we're going to not boost turn meter we're just gonna hit the a1 on pythion pythion That's crazy, but then I remember that Pythion is somebody you would build naturally with more, um, what do you call it, resistance. So that also checks, that tracks. There's not much you can do, so I don't know what you're doing, taking up all this time. Is he just gonna take up the entire turn meter? Is this one of those days? Where you're, you're the first one? First one of the day, okay. Well, looks like we're just gonna sit here. And we're going to take our time beating him. But I'm not going to record the entire thing. I'm going to skip ahead so that you guys um, don't have to sit here and uh, watch me do this. Yeah, so uh, this guy decided to take up the entire uh, turn meter every single time he took a turn. And um, I mean, obviously, I was going to be able to dwindle him down eventually. So that's where we're at. You see that in about three minutes, this is about to, uh, you know... Uh, end so let me show you he's still doing it the entire time and it's it's always i don't even want to say interesting it's kind of just annoying but also kind of laughable because people are there there are people legitimately like this in real life they start losing they start losing um fights or or whatever competitive thing they're working at or they start losing at life or they start losing control and so they do the only thing that they know how which is try to take the other person down with them, try to make the other person suffer as well. And I think that's just kind of like a dick move. But I mean, obviously I was just watching YouTube videos while this was going on. So it's like, it's not like I, I didn't mind either way. But yeah, uh, the nice thing about uh, Inithway is that his A1 also destroys max HP, which really helps. All right, we'll see if Georgia can pull through for me here. All right, so his Arbiter outspeeds my Siffy. Fast, fast. Now, I think we should put Yastra to sleep. I think she was gonna outspeed me. Okay, she doesn't. All right, we're gonna give it to you. Gonna get rid of nice horsey over there. We worry about Wukong, there you go. All right, speed battle, who goes first? And come on, Siffy. Oh, okay, hold on. We might be able to pull something off. Come on. Uh oh, no! It's over, it's a clap. Crixio's here. We might be in trouble. Damn, so she's gonna put our skills on cooldown. Fuck us up from the get go. Can we put him to sleep? No, we can't because we get feared. Here it comes, here comes the drop. Oh, not the god hand. Let's just leave. But I mean, that's just live arena. You're, you're constantly going to be placed up against people who just are capable of, of beating you like all the time you're, you're constantly going to be outmatched uh, no matter where you go i do have to worry about hefrak here but we're going to go ahead and take it and um that's just kind of how you know how it is you got to learn to just not take it too seriously uh, i mean i wouldn't recommend taking it too seriously because at the end of the day it's just like it, it doesn't matter how many shards you pull or how good your gear is you're always going to be outclassed and it's like the higher you go in live arena the um dear god I just got I just got toured. Um, the higher you go in arena, the more the more than likely you're just gonna get matched with people who will constantly just beat you. And that's just that's just how it is. And there's not much we can do about it. And it's not like I can just drop and like easily go back to gold one where I want to be, where I feel like I should be. It's it's just it's just not that simple. I um fucking it, it takes forever to drop right even if i went in and i dropped three every single day 
So like that lost cost me three, negative, or sorry, negative four. All right, it's four to drop. I thought it was three at one point. It was four to drop and it's five to go up. So you have a higher chance of going up more so than you do um, falling down. It just takes too long to try to climb down. All right, so we're able to go first this time around. Let's go ahead and give this to Georgid. Let's swipe at Uko. And of course, reaction would pop off. Of course, because why not? It just, it is what it is, huh? Yep. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna put Harim to sleep. Hopefully we don't get stunned or frozen during this time. Try to get rid of Uko. And he's got a savage Tormund. Put the lockdown on you so you can only A1. Alright. Hit the A1, get the decrease attack on us, put Harima to sleep. Hit the A1 again on Uko, take away that max HP, best we can do so far. Put the lockout on Tormin. Try, try to uh, stop him from using that provoke. That's like the biggest thing here right now. So, what is he going to do? He might try to speed up everybody. That would have been a, not, not been a bad idea. Let's hit um, Warlord. And of course we get fucking... Um, yeah, of course we do. Let's hit the... Jesus. We get sheeped, bro. That's crazy. Of course we get sheeped. And the, the shitty thing about sheep... You know what the fuck are we doing here, dude? But this is, this is the live arena experience, right? This is what a lot of players are complaining about. It's just like, there, there's no uh, guarantee that you're going to, you know, win much. And uh, sometimes when you win, it doesn't really feel like a win because they, they oftentimes, the, the way it's set up is you get paired with people who are at a lower level than you. And so it doesn't really feel like a win if you do win. And then if you lose, it's just like, well, shit, you actually do suck. And so it's just not... It's not a, a happy situation all around. So, you know, this is this is the, the plight of many when it comes to Live Arena. We want to have fun, right? Look at this. Look at this shit. Because, I mean, look at this. This this isn't fun. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's like, even when you win, you don't really feel like you're winning. So it's not fun. And then I hear some of you guys saying, Oh, if you don't like it, just don't do it. Don't, you know, quit. Well, one, I'm doing it for content. Two... When I get Marius, I'm not doing Live Arena anymore anyway. And three, sometimes it is fun. Sometimes you get a good fight. But recently I've been, I've, I just, I haven't been feeling like this was a fun situation. I feel like the higher you go, the more bullshit it becomes. And, and it's crazy. This doesn't feel like a win. And then, you know, some people might say, oh, just get good or it's a skill issue. And, you know, sometimes that's part of it. Sometimes it's also part of the fact that, you know, I just make mistakes um, or or whatever you want to call it. But I mean, just like, this is the situation for, for a lot of people where a good majority of the time, a uh, good majority of the time, it's really not even a skill issue. You're just outclassed and that sucks. But again, it is, you know, it is, it is what it is. All right, so we weren't able to gank anybody that time around. And so it leads a lot of people, of course, there was no buffs. And, and so it leads a lot of people to almost feeling like they just need to spend money so they can get the good champs and get the better gear so they can just be in a better situation overall. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it's I'm basically talking to a wall here because it's not, it's not like one, it's not a difference. Like we're not this is not new information. And um Two, we, we already know this. This isn't something we haven't talked about before together. So, but sometimes you just get frustrated. You just feel like stressing, not stressing, but like the stress or the frustration. It's not even stress. It's more like frustration of, um, you know, playing a game that you want to have fun with, but it's not like you can even really have fun because of situations like this. It's just not fun. All right, let's, uh, let's get through Mithrala. And hit the A2 there. So yeah, I just can't wait to be done with, with Live Arena. I can be one less person in the Live Arena pool. But um, the other thing I could do is just log in. And whenever I just feel like it or have free time, just go in and give people free wins. Go in and get out. All right, let's see if we get lucky this time around. 
So if you speed up, okay. So didn't want to risk the uh, the freeze popping off. Of course, you hit that. I'm surprised Marius didn't get his turn meter pushed back because that would have probably um, made it so that he countered with his A1, um, which is what I was expecting, but it didn't it didn't happen. But that's fine. All right, what are we doing here? Are we re reviving. All right, you boosted turn meter, tried to get the increased attack on him. All right. Now, what we can do here is... Actually, what we're going to do is just transform, hit the A2. Oh, I guess he comes back with turn meter boost, so then that freezes him anyway. I naturally just try to um, take extra turns if I know he's going to come back. But yeah, uh, again, uh, it's not like this is a win. He's level 96. I would say, fundamentally, it's... It's the matchmaking. It's it's horrible. It is a abhorrent matchmaking system to be paired with um, people who just constantly outclass you. And then, yeah, everybody's in stone skin. I always forget to just put my champions in stone skin. Let's get the fuck out of here. But that's just like, that's the other thing, right? So I could spend all my time, re or like a lot of time, rebuilding all of my champions. And everybody's in stone skin and, and what have you. But... At the end of the day, I'm just going to run into the same issues. It's a never-ending cycle of being placed against people who just outclass you. And, um, you know, I'm not... I'm, I'm also aware that this is probably the res uh, the perspective that somebody else has when they go up against me or any of my accounts sometimes. Because, yeah, that, I mean, the reality is, at, at times, I do, I do go against people who I outclass naturally just because... Not because I'm better, but just because, like, my account is more developed. I've... I've spent more money, or I've spent more time, right? I've been playing for almost six six years, right? And so, like, I I understand there's that perspective too. Like, I'm I'm not, I'm not, I'm not acknowledging that. Obviously, it's a thing. So, I, I get that perspective as well. Before any of you guys tell me anything about that, but again, contextually, I feel like that helps to further my point. There's no reason that somebody should be placed against somebody like me in Live Arena. It, it's just it's just not fair. I think. And, uh, of course, I, uh, I'm gonna get bombed. Shit. Well, fuck. Or I get Wukonged. <laughs> Constant back-to-back -back strings and losses. Of losses. And so we're back here to square one. How is this supposed to be fun? I, it, it's not. It really isn't. And, uh, a lot of people feel this way, like I've said, but I also think that the game is purposely designed to be like this. I think it's purposely designed in a way where you feel this frustration so that you're constantly paying, you're constantly buying, just like a lot of the um, older content creators like um, Mac Chan used to say, was saying like he would spend thousands and thousands of dollars just to keep up for Plat Arena. And, and it's insane. So it's just like, if you're one of those people who are, um, you know, feeling angry or frustrated about Live Arena, it's not just you, all right? It's, it's a lot of us, especially players like me who, who have paid, right? We've paid thousands of dollars on this game and, um, you know, been playing for six years. So, you know, it, it's not just you. Don't feel like it's just you or that you need to feel like you need to spend money because obviously you can see here that uh, the situation is uh, same across the board, right? I'm honestly willing to bet that even Krakens feel this way. Even the guys at the top are probably feeling something uh, akin to this where it's just like they are all the way up there and they have these super kraken accounts and they have got really um awesome gear and like the best champions but they're still coming across people who can beat them and beat them multiple times and i'm pretty sure even those guys still um feel the weight of like constant back-to-back -back losses that's why for me i'm pretty sure that you know i'm uh, i'm probably just gonna end up uh going in and just dropping on purpose until I get back all the way to like gold, gold, um, what do you call it? Gold one or something like that. Cause, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is just going to help everybody out. Like I'm, I'm pretty, I'm fairly certain that once I start doing this on a, on a regular basis, that not only am I going to be helping other people just, you know, boost an arena and, you know, get, get their wins for Marius or whatever. I'm, I'm almost certain that uh, I'm going to feel a lot better when I finally drop back down to gold one. So, yeah. All right. Let's try to keep our mons from doing anything. If we can do that. You know, Mithrala, like I've said before, is actually a pretty annoying champion. Crazy. 
with the way that she's able to just keep you at bay. And then once you're alone with her, um, like her A1 can just pop off constantly back to back. And those poisons, I'm telling you, they'll get you. They'll get you. All right, we have to worry about Wukong here. Don't hit us too hard, please. Yep. Nice and hard. Just the way we like it. All right, let's get rid of Mithrala. Let's leave you for now. We're going to leave Wukong because he doesn't have increased attack. Let's focus on Pytheon. All right. Now we're going to hit the A2. A3 to A2. And so now it's just Wukong. Okay. I think I fought this guy earlier and he ganked me. Oh, you know what? It was this guy. Because I was just like, did I just get Wukonged? Yeah, it was this guy for sure. All right, let's let's transform and stun because I really want to get this Wukong. If I can get this Wukong hit Ronda or hit him with Ronda's A2, oops. We might we might be in a good position here. You might try to revive then boost return meter or I guess not. Uh, let's just hit the A3. And then there you go. I think, yeah. So, underdog story. You, you lose and then you come back on top. But, you know, that, that's just how the game is. You go back and forth. And then just a reminder, it's crazy that there's level 68s up in gold 3. Level 68. And then he had some other OP legendary champion that I just, I had to ban. I forgot who it was, but it, it's insane. It's crazy. <laughs> and this Teox is about to gank me if I don't do something about it. So let's hit him, get him out of here. Oof, I remember that problem. He's gonna hit the A2 and it's gonna suck. Yep, and then Quintus, he's got Quintus at level 68. This just goes to show like the power of, of, of paying. Um, yeah, it, it's insane. So we're gonna hit that. Hopefully we get enough HP. Oh, yep, nope, we uh, Odin, that's right. Level 68, guys. Check it. Fucking hell, dude. <laughs> it just helps to further my point that you shouldn't stress or worry about it because you're just gonna constantly run into people who uh, just can outdo you. All right, we're gonna get rid of Quintus since he's about to take a turn. And I would get rid of Thor, but I have to worry about Sippy putting us to sleep. So we'll try to get to Sippy before she's able to do that. All right, let's, yeah, let's get to Siffy. Hit the ally attack and then drop it there. I don't know why, but he was taking up the entire turn meter. Again, uh, people, people like this for no reason. All right, this is the 100th battle. After this, I don't think I want to do live arena again for a very long time. We'll see if he takes up the entire turn meter again. No, he doesn't. Okay, I guess it was just, just that one part that he wanted to take up the entire turn meter for. Or maybe he just really wasn't sure. I, I, I'll give it, I, we'll, we'll say it was that. We'll say he just didn't, he didn't know um, for the last two minutes, he just didn't know what to do. And that's totally fine. Oh, a lot of people were talking about the confirm button being bugged. I actually found a fix to that. If you actually hold down, if you actually hold down the confirm button, I don't know if this works on the phone, but it works on, on a PC. If you hold down the confirm button, just hold it down. It'll actually go through. We're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. 